and on that level. And there were a lot of different reasons. And I, again, I'm not an authority on it. I was not part of the paper's editorial staff, and I don't really know all the details. I'm just, you know, answering your question the best I can as someone who's right. part of the greater AGR entity. That was an excellent answer. All right. I'm thorough, and I understood every... Good. What you understand about it, I think I pretty much yeah, understand it. Yeah, it's not at all, I don't think it should all be read as an abandonment of the mission. The, oh, the really unfortunate thing is you will no longer be able to pick up a hard copy of the paper around town at wherever you're eating or having coffee or hanging out. And think, that's, think that's if you sad. If requested one, they could like special build one? I don't know. I mean, if they I don't got know the stories, it's not so hard to just slap it on paper and just put print, it on a file. You know? Well, yeah, yeah, but I mean, again... This was uh, what? How many pages did the NGR have? It was like 12 oh, Bonnie. pages front and back. Did someone just call me from there? And uh, uh -huh. printing that out, you could yeah. do. Oh, I never actually looked at one. Yes, I Yeah, I mean, it's a, it's, a lot, it's a lot of uh, yes. printing to do. Oh. And then you've got to format it for the page. Oh, it's a totally kind? different kind of thing. Well, it's a lot I'm of a, work to I format it in a hard copy show. newspaper. Yeah, versus exactly. the web. I, I was the web, like you can just click a button and upload a new okay. story into that space, and it'll adjust the space for you. Really? No, I just saw a picture of it, and I thought it, I thought it was just a piece of paper folded. <laughs> no, no, it's a it's a full folded part. newspaper with leaves, and and you know it's got to be formatted every week to fit that square. That's a yeah. lot of work in itself, just formatting oh, yeah. the stories. Bonnie says hello to everybody on TV. Yeah. I'm getting a phone call. It's probably someone. Informing me that I shouldn't be on TV. I'm going to swap places with you and talk no, actually, about that. Hmm? We're, going to, we're going to go ahead and get out of here. No, no, no. Then, 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 won't, then won't it look stupid with nobody here? You're going to sit here? No, I'm going to sit there. I'm going to sit Well, here, check sit. this out. Okay. We'll put this guy to face you. Oh, and you one. can just kind of talk out of the corner of your mouth. I see. And I think that'll be good. All right. All right. I don't know that that will do. <laughs> Don't worry, you'll have this place will be full in like. Oh, so as long as he's in here, you'll stay and talk, huh? But when it's down to me, it's another story. <laughs> no, we had a limited time frame in the program. Oh, I see. That was just a good cue. That was a good Thank you for having me. Well, thank you for coming. I wish you would stay and talk okay. more. We don't even know who you are and what are you All a right, member? We will, yes, we will see I'm very inactive. I was going to say, are you working on a show? Or mm -mm. Are you I, here with this guy? I. This is my boyfriend. Um, Have you uh, seen his work? Yes. Okay. Not all of it. He won't show me all of it. Okay. But um. He's got a. Did I give you one of these? I don't think so. Show We're gonna have a premiere at the Brown View at the show. You, so all announce right. that. And well. Have an announcement. Announce that. You announce that. Mm -hmm. Oh, you don't want to announce. I'll announce it later. We're closer to the time when people will remember. Okay. Awesome. I'll bring you some cut-ins and stuff. All right. I'll have to figure out where my head. Oh, there they are. Okay. 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 We'll see you later. Thank you. All right. Well, you didn't have any tea. You you should come back for tea. It's it's steaming, but it'll be ready shortly. We'll think about it on the road. Okay. Well, right. on the road. <laughs> All right. Bye. Bye. Okay. Let's see. I can hear. I can hear clearly. I'm very loud now. Okay. I'm loud. That's that's generally that's generally my deal. I'm I'm kind of loud. There. Well, it's down to me again. That's right. Well, here we are, and I could hardly wait to get back on the air to talk about getting George Bush's head on a stick and marching it through the streets of Ash of, of uh, Baghdad. Uh, but uh, but I don't think we should stop there. I think we need uh, uh, Cheney's head on a stick and uh, and a whole bunch of people. Has anybody ever seen the deck of cards that was that are all of the Bush henchmen? Uh, deck. I was thinking that deck, and then follow it up by the Senate. Anyway, certainly everybody who voted for going into Baghdad, what a mm, crazy thing to vote for. All right. <sighs> now, I've had some kind of revelation going on this week, and I thought, well, <laughs> There, I have something to talk about at the tea party. Do you think I can remember it? No. I can't. I'm lucky to have gotten even set up at all. But here we are. We're going out live. Here we are. We are your public access. We are your access to 
cable channel 20 I, w I wanted to say to the airwaves but not to the airwaves but to mass media as far as Buncombe County goes and Charter Cable Channel 20 goes. They do keep us uh, the present pinned in that much. I hear people talking in the background. Hello? You know what? No one can come to my... Yeah, no one can come to the TV. See if somebody wants to come in the front door. You know, they have the front door locked. Now, if they have the front door locked, how can anyone come to the tea party? Well, I ran and I opened the door and I let those people in and they came for a while, but now they've gone away. So, hmm. So I'm gonna have to see how we can let pe how can we have guests? How can we have guests at our tea party if the door is locked? Hmm. That doesn't seem to make sense, does it? Hmm. All right. All right. Well, this is what this is what I was left to read about it. It says right, left, and stop. Okay, you are cordially invited to participate in the world premiere of the first episode of the new television show. Unrelenting Entertainment. That's right. Unrelenting Entertainment. Boy, now this one's going to be good. Special event, special event, it says. Thursday, June 21st at 10.30 p.m. on the big screen at the Asheville Pizza Company. That's what it says here. 675 Merriman Avenue. Admission is free. Okay, you can't beat the price. Running time is one hour. It says restricted uh, language and some violence. Okay, so there's language and some violence. Well, the fellow who gave me this, who just left, told me he got kicked off the Tea Party the last time he was at the Tea Party for, for language. So his, his show has language in it, but it's go he's going to premiere it at the Asheville, uh, what does it say, Asheville? It says Asheville Pizza Company on Merriman Avenue now, and it's free. That's on June 21st at 10.30 on the big screen. That's the important part. It's on the big screen. Special event on the big screen. And best of all, it's free. So the price is right. The price is right. Probably have to buy your own beer. Uh, but I... I sure as heck hope to be there if I can remember. All I have to do is remember, you know, and then it's all good. I'm there. So here, here we got we have our, our great mad scientist prime time tea party, and there's nobody here. It's all because they've got they they're at home watching. Dancing with the Stars. I now see that I want to readjust my video shot. That's right. So now I'm going to adjust my video shot to suit me. Because I don't like to have that much of the table dropping off the end. And, uh, ooh, the water's getting hot. The second pot of tea will be on its way very, very shortly. So come on down and have a cup of tea and be on television. Wow. What, I wonder what my revelations were. I had, I had revelations They're already starting to play the nuclear card. That's uh, 
That's a shame. But I was having revelations about what was going on. I can't remember what it was now. I hear, I hear the, the tea kettle is beginning to make noises. Can you hear that? Maybe you can. I'm going to go adjust my camera. And, and, and then I'm going to run out and see if I can scratch up some more folks here. Mm. What's the topic? Please come in. Have some tea. All right. Cool. Mm. Which tea is this? Mm. These are the pellets. As you see, it's dark as coffee, isn't it? It is pretty dark. Do you have any real regular sugar or just this new and sweet? Right there in that blue bowl. Is there any in there? There is. All right. Would oh, you like a cup cool. of Would you like a cup of tea? You know what? I have a little cup. I'm kind of weird if I drink it anymore. But I would just love to have you know, Please do. You know, tea. This is wicked. This is this is not normal tea. This is. Oh wait a second. Especially now, good tea. Just put that sugar cube in yeah, there. Yeah, now it's even less. Uh, is you should. Is there a little cup over the there back? by you? No. At least, at least, taste it. You don't have to okay, drink a whole cup. Okay. Sure, sure. Uh, see, I just put a little bit in there. Very little. Thank you. And you're cooking even more. Yes, to go in the big pot. We're gonna have rock tea in the big pot. So how long does your show go each day? Well, okay, now on on this day, Wednesday, I'm going to be from 7.30 until 9 o'clock every Wednesday night. Right. That's my prime time show. Yeah, very good. Now and we're on it. And you're on it. Right. And, and you can talk about your show. Hey, oh. hey, do you feel like talking? This We, we plug our shows. That's, that's like one of the main things we do on it. You're wearing like your star glasses. You know I can take those. Right? I, no, you can. You can be <laughs> the, the lights are pretty bright. No, it's yeah, good. You can have this. You can have the star glasses. That's good. It's more. Uh, I hung out in these lights for a while today. Without them. <laughs> yeah, and you can see yourself on TV by looking at the monitor over there. Yeah. Well, one of the things that. Who were, where were the other two people that were here asking me all those questions about the newspaper? Well, they went away. As soon as you went away, they went away. Ah, and they wouldn't they wouldn't hear of anything else. And I, it's like, you know, as long as you were here. They had very pointed questions about the paper. I thought that was good. It was good yeah. to hear about that. They were like, I'm why is the paper folded? I'm really disappointed to hear that the paper's going because I, I, I well, think everybody's the, sad about it. It's I think the hard sad. copy, yeah, uh, you know, is a, a really... We're all pretty sad about it too. That's yeah. uh, you know how we started, and it's uh, we wanted Asheville Global Report to be uh, a street accessible right. uh, source of information for for Cookies. anybody, and not ev not everybody watches television or gets online. And, mm -hmm. um, we wanted it to be something that someone could hold in their hands and um, you know meditate on, mm -hmm. and, and we don't have that anymore. And it's really sad and. It wasn't a, a strategic move um, beyond utter, total emergency necessity. Um, we just simply didn't have the money to support it anymore. I understand that. From, from the first, there's always been, you know, it's been a, a, an issue. A battle to raise where, does, money, yeah. where will all the money come from, you know, over and over? I know. Yeah, no, it's really sad. Some people in, in the community, uh, it's been... No, uh, communicated to me think that we're just clicking our heels about us being a television show now. And, uh, that's uh -huh, so unfair. Uh-huh, uh-huh, yeah, I, I see, I see that's, it, I see that's, it. That's not yeah. the truth. You're so no. big now, you're, you're a TV show who needs to do the paper anymore. Yeah. Right. Well, yeah. Now, okay, now, now, tr <laughs> now, truly, do you think that the, that the hard copy would have folded if there wasn't a TV show? Probably. I think what we're going to see in the next, probably even just the very next year, is you're going to see it. A lot of newspapers folding, a lot of magazines folding. Uh, you're already seeing that. Yeah, we're already seeing that, and especially in the independent uh, publisher circuit. Um, you're going to see the New York Times, the Washington Post, the LA Times, newspapers that have national distribution, 
drastically cutting back their national circulation. I guarantee it. I, I, I will wager money. What's right the draw? What's making this happen in your opinion? Or your and more is the pity, I well, must say. Well, yeah. Well, it's a combination of uh, reasons. Internet. Internet. Uh, internet's internet, a, and internet's internet a good thing. We like and, internet. Um, I mean, it's just uh, the newspaper is going the way of the ham radio in a lot of ways. Mm -hmm. um, it's, it's just a, a shift in how people are getting their information. And the postal rate increase that oh, happened right. two weeks ago. Is going to play a part in that. Oh, no doubt. Time Warner has been lobbying heavily, and they got it for the postal, the postal service to drastically jack up postage rates for, for everything or no 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 this is the thing it's not it's calculated the, yeah it used to be for the longest time that let me, this is the one right let me get it oh. let me get it because i need to check something all right well, you take my seat amos so i don't have to dance yeah. around you okay when I come back. i'm so oh. glad that you dropped in amos did oh, you know keep going on that yeah. oh thanks break. man you've, ta well, you've tasted pleasure. you've tasted the tea now oh, it's good it, it, do you see what i mean it's not it's not lipton you know what oh, I mean? no no this is good tea um, now, um, this is what's crazy, is the, the way that the Postal Service worked for the longest time is that you would be charged by weight. Right. And now it's actually by size. Right. Uh, and that works. Uh, I think it's size and weight. Size and weight, but, yeah. but particularly size. I mean, mm -hmm. we could have the same weight in the newspaper, but if we shrunk the size, our postage wouldn't be the same, but we mm -hmm. were facing... Uh, 50% postage increase almost instantaneously. Mm -hmm. Little warning. Um, that's only one factor. There's cookies. I see them. I'm going to put them right here. The fact, so. the fact of the matter is also is that we were a nonprofit corporation. Um, nonprofits, especially regionally, mm -hmm. um, are increasingly competing for scarce resources um, mm -hmm. for a variety of reasons. One reason is plain, real trickle-down economics, courtesy of the Bush administration. Mm -hmm. And another is a lot of nonprofit money being funneled towards the Democratic Party in response to that. In response to the trickle-down? In response to the Bush administration's economics. Um, we felt that on a very personal level. It was made really clear to me. Mm -hmm. Watching all those people in the MoveOn.org office mm -hmm. um, right before the the last election season mm -hmm. were working day and night to raise man, money. manning the manning the phone lines, getting people to vote Democratic and raise money for the Democratic Party. And yeah, it just broke my heart because I knew they were paying for fool's gold. Yeah. Um, and then as soon as it was over, they packed up the move on dot they org, moved, moved right on. Right on. All right. Well, <laughs> yeah. see here. Okay. Here's here's, a, here's an issue that you, that maybe you you know, and and this is something that I've uh, that I've not really talked about much on the air, and I know that y'all don't really cover issues if you feel that they're being covered, already on the air. So you you don't you don't really cover the Bush administration as much as one might think that you do because it's covered pretty well already. Well, actually, we covered them <laughs> quite a bit. It's yeah. just we cover what other people aren't covering but you, yeah, about. But, but you don't cover the same thing that everybody's already yakking about. Yeah, we're not going to talk about immigration. Right. 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 Everybody's talking about immigration. Right. We might talk about it, the aspects of it that aren't being approached, mm -hmm. but not the talking point immigration clap trap that you're hearing at the debates. Right, but it's what being I, done to death. What I've been what I was saying oh even before the elections, you know, and it's what I've been noticing and you know, it's the, the there's not much difference between Democrats and Republicans, but that that every, everybody's talking. Everybody's talking. And as long as everybody's talking, it's rhetoric. It's just so much more rhetoric, you know. The, the 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 Democrats are in, and they're all talking, you know. But but what? But our troops are still in Iraq. Right. Marijuana is still illegal. Right. Well, in, well um, increasingly, what we've seen, especially in the mainstream news media, is uh, in terms of what issues the two-party system are allowing to be talked about, or what's being seen on most news media, strictly adheres to a predetermined set of, mm -hmm. like David just said, talking points, right. issues that conform 
to uh, an overall political strategy that bears little resemblance right. to reality. <laughs> yeah, or, or to what most people in this country are actually concerned about. Right, right. Yeah. However, everybody is saying, it's a chess game. quote, what they need to say to be elected. Everybody is saying what is acceptable right. to say. That's what everybody is saying. It doesn't matter who they are. They're all saying what is acceptable to say and what will what they think will bring them a vote. Or, Check it out. Here's a know. perfect example. Last week's issue of Newsweek, only one story about Iraq. That story was about the three missing U.S. soldiers. The only story three about out Iraq. Of, three but out of how many? The, the majority of the, the coverage in the, the magazine was about Hillary Clinton. That... It's almost a predetermined. I know that you're a big. I know that you're a big Hillary man. <laughs> no, no. I mean, uh, it's not, not about. A, it's, it's not about that. It's just the fact that um, what a lot of the mainstream media focuses on is you know uh, the two-year election cycle and the horse race. Right. And uh, what's more important to be spinning and controlling the public's thinking about? right now, oh. Hillary Clinton or Iraq. It's a, it's the most important thing is framing your candidates for either the Oval Office or the Crosshairs, and it's not mm -hmm. about focusing on the real issue of the war in Iraq at all. In fact, you scuttle anything about that in favor of pumping up the rah-rah Right. You know the cheerleading that goes on leading up to the election cycle. Right, everybody's. You'll waiting, see more and more flag, parts, news stories being eclipsed as we get closer and closer to election time. It'll just all be about what these candidates have said or how they've screwed their chances. Mm -hmm. So much of the big media will be focused on that, right, and not mm -hmm. on yeah. the minutia of the problems we're right. facing in this war. Right. All That's politicians, bipartisan. No matter whether they're Democrat or Republican, both benefit by there not being hard news coverage in the media. They would much rather people be thinking about them and their personalities and their differences between other politicians rather than issues of immediate import. Right. And that's and the right issues and, 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 and it works issues really well for the corporate media because hey, we got to satisfy our advertisers. Hey. We gotta just keep this it's product ratings. Right. Yeah. Right. Right. Exactly. right. Issues. Issues of, of pe uh, Issues of are people dying. Issues of are people having enough to eat and things like that. Right. They're, they're not people down in New Orleans. They're, they're, they're yeah. They're stuff. not. They don't want to talk about that right. stuff. Exactly. Right. It's yesterday's newspaper. Katrina is so two thousand and <laughs> what five? It's, a, it's out of style. Yeah. It's yeah. it's past. It's news right. cycle with value is dead. Not to the people in New Orleans. <laughs> Not to the people in New Orleans or to anybody in America that cares are about New Orleans. Still or those trying people to rebuild or, their houses. No, no, yeah, right. But but for the power brokers, it's an old story that, you know, why focus on it? Yeah, that's why Cindy Sheehan you know, just resigned from the anti-war movement this past week in disgust and said, you know, it seems like most Americans are more concerned with who's going to be the next American idol. Uh, mm -hmm. And I'm... You know, I've ruined, I've sabotaged my personal relationship. What I wonder, though, is, is that so. true? I don't even know that, like, I don't, know, yeah, it I don't is. even I know the polling is, the polling information we get is accurate. It's like, are really, out of the 290 million Americans, are really the majority of them thinking about American Idol, or are we being told right. by the apparatus right. that that's what's important, had, yeah. what everybody's thinking right. about? I get the feeling, even with blue state, red state, and all this stuff that so much of it is projected by these six or seven 24-hour news outlets owned by three companies. Mm -hmm. They're telling you how America's defined and divided and right. what it really is, and it's BS. Right. Right. You know? Oh, yeah. I agree with you. Completely. Yeah. It, it really helps when you have the Asheville Citizen Times actually have a sec American Idol section newspaper at least once a week. Right. Yeah. There, and there, is there that ratings driven? <laughs> do, they, do they do some poll right. about this region or is that something that would be decided higher up at 
Gannett saying, it's all, it's all we want an American sure. Idol section across the board in every right. Gannett paper because mm -hmm. this is an important issue. It's helping mm -hmm. us maintain a certain idea of the status quo mm -hmm. that needs to be maintained so that anybody with any real political interest will just throw their hands up in disgust like mm -hmm. Cindy Sheehan right. and think, oh my God, nobody really cares that my son just died in this war. Right. Everybody's watching American Idol. And so it serves to eliminate valuable, active political citizenry from the process right. by saying, hey man, look what's on the front page, American Idol, not Camp Crawford or whatever, Camp Casey or whatever. Right.